The Windows Progress Indicator is a very important control. Welcome guys and today we are going to talk about this very important control, the Progress Indicator. So I'm going to drag and drop here onto the form as you can see right there. So what does it do? Well, as the name says, it shows the progress. So when we run the application by default, nothing happens because if you go to the properties, you can see that here, the The under the behavior category the auto start is set to false but we have the start method which we're going to talk about very soon so let's run and see how the control is like as it is we have not made any customizations so if the application runs and opens as you can see nothing happens really it defies that this is a background indicator because nothing is shown there's no indication that there's a background activity running so how do we use this well there are two ways really to animate this control so we're going to talk about the first way through the property and the second way back in the code right there so if you look here under the behavior category we have the auto start which is set to true let's run and see what we get so the auto start is set to true we'd like to see the behavior that we get let's give it a second there it is now the control is showing that there's some activity that is running but of course we wouldn't want to show this in this way the the background activity in this way it sounds awkward when a form opens and already we are told that something is happening well yes in some cases it could be like a splash screen but in some dialogues for example we may need to auto start this in code so we are going to show how we can do this so I, I i want to copy the name and i want to go to the background here i think first of all let's take a button control let's handle the click event of this button and let's say we are going to start the the indication and let's change from auto start true to auto start false let's run and see what we get so this control can be used for example when you are making splash screens or it can be used when we're making a please wait dialogue but the best that we encourage you guys is to use this a uh, control when a uh, progress is initiated by a background work for example a user clicks the button and something happens in the background please show this to the user so we can use the start method to fire up the control and show give a visual feedback that something is happening in the background so what customizations do we have well let's see from the properties tab let's let's wait some few seconds as it loads and let's see what we get so as a heads up we encourage you to use this in the background worker or a separate thread not in the same thread that runs the main UI run a separate thread that does the work or a background worker that starts and stops the animation using the start method so we can change the progress color we can change this to some color here we can also change the circles let's change this to two and we can also change the under the behavior here we can also change the number of circles it's eight let's double this to 16 and let's make it a bit bigger or maybe 16 is too much right well let's try 12 this is much better and uh, we can also enable or disable the the control under the behavior category so these are some of the controls that we that we have right there 
the background color is white so if you have a different color you come here and then you put that color to suit your ui for example if it's black you can also change the progress color if it's a shade of gray and so forth but for now let's leave this to white let's run and see so let's build the project and let's run the application now the progress is shown that something is happening so let's say you have started the progress in the background here and you want to stop it because of course if a, pro a process starts the next thing is completion well we can handle the the stopping operation by the stop method right there as you can see the stop allows you to stop the indicator you can start it with the start method and stop it with the stop method so I encourage you guys to run this in a separate thread and then or in a separate background worker and that worker will start and stop the control for you so this can be used for example in a splash screen it can also be used in a please wait dialogue or you can use it in your main ui when a user clicks somewhere and you want to show them the progress that something is loading please wait or further ui is processing you can use this as well so thank you guys and i'll